Now that we have our column headings formatted the way we want them, now let's work on our column width so that we can see the information in each of our columns. To begin with, I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to position it between column A and column B. When I do this, you'll notice that my mouse cursor changes shape. Here I have the fat plus. When I point between A and B, this is the cursor I get. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down now and I'm going to move it slightly to the right. And I want to do so until I can see all of TV commercials that's located in A16. That's going to be approximately at 15.29. I can let go and see if I see all of it, and now I do. So I know that I've moved it far enough to the right. Another way that I can adjust my column widths is I can take my mouse cursor, I can place it between B and C, and I can double click. When I do that, it auto adjusts to the largest cell entry. Now I'm going to do the same between C and D, D and E, and J. Next I'm going to select the range E5 through H5. This time I'm going to click the Format button in the Cells grouping. Here you see Cells, here you see Format. I'm going to select the drop down. I'm going to come down and select Column Width. It's going to allow me to enter a numeric value. I'm going to enter 11 and I'm going to click OK. That adjusts those three columns to 11. Be sure to save your work. Next, we're going to insert and delete rows and columns. I'm going to right click cell A32. So I need to find cell A32. I'm going to right click A32. Then I'm going to click insert. On the shortcut menu that comes up, I'm going to select entire row as my option. By doing this, it's going to insert an entire row at this location. You'll notice that it shifted everything in D through J down one row. Next, I'm going to click Row 27 Heading. Row 27. I select it, and you'll notice that it selects the entire row. I'm going to click the Delete button in the Cells grouping. That is this one. So I'm going to click Delete, and it deleted the entire row. Next, I'm going to click the Column J heading. Find Column J, select the heading. This time, I'm going to click the Delete button in the Cells group. So here, I'm going to select Delete, and it deletes that cell as well. Be sure to save as you go. Next, I'm going to use the auto fit to resize F and H. So, again, I'm going to cl click in between F and G and H and I to adjust and auto fit those two columns. Don't forget to save your work.